shit. How you going, everybody? Yeah. Uh, Mugo and Mudo here from the world's best four-wheel driving channel. Certainly we're is. about to do some mud bogging, some shit boxing, a little bit of dogging. And we're gonna come straight through your eyeballs into your noggin. Let's go, it's gonna be good. Now you know you've done a great job on a muddy bog hole when it's still dripping afterwards. Look at this, how good's this? Now welcome again to the world's best four-wheel driving channel. We're here again in the Blue Mountains. We're sick of Cape York. We've yeah, done it so many times. We're, we're just like locals there easy. now, so we thought we'd do something different. Yeah. We're up here in the beautiful, beautiful Blue Mountains. It is Sydney, stunning. Australia. There go my sunnies. We bought the cheapest Hilux in Australia. We've done a bunch of modifications to it. No doubt you've seen it. Today, we're taking it off-road, mate. Yeah. It's time to test it. Some proper testing, some proper four-wheel drive running. It's gonna be great. We've also got today a special guest who's gonna be meeting us out in the bush, all three of us in the mud hole at once. You ready to go, mate? So ready. Let's Born send ready. it. Let's go. Let's go. How good's this? All right, mate, let's hit it. Wait, aren't you gonna like air the tires down and do all the prep? It's a Hilux, mate. It's a Hilux, you don't need to do anything. Watch this, oh, we God. just go. First stinky bog hole. Oh, oh. oh big hit. All right, well, Martin, Good we're job. Full, we're full driving. $14,000 for a Hilux. Yep. And now we're off-road, enjoying ourselves, having adventures. That's what cars are for, people. Like, it's, it's um, meant for be going out and doing cool stuff. It's pretty comfortable, isn't it? All right. Are you I, sending it through that as well? Okay, I think we should check the depth of it first, right? There's a big stick in it. Oh, see that big stick? Oh, shit. Oh, dude. Are you in even in full drive? Dude, the diffs are filling up with water. What are you doing? Can you do it? What do you have to do? Bogged. Put the clutch in. Put it in clutch neutral. Clutch is in. It's in neutral. I think that's full oh, drive. Stinks. Go. Oh, God. No, you're actually getting us bogged, dude. Dude, you're... Ac oh, you are so lucky I'm that you so just lucky. got out of that. It's a Hilux, mate. It's properly deep. But you, what do, you, do you even know if you're in the right gear? What do you mean? There's a track right there. No, you go there's... around it. This is irresponsible full driving. Oh, God. Oh god. Oh no, you're stuck. Are we bogged? You, your exhaust is underwater. Can you can you try and get out? Oh man. I have a feeling it's actually so deep that we're we're bottoming out in the middle and we can't get through it. <laughs> we, we are so shit. What do you mean we? Driving. What do you mean we? I we've told been, you to go down that track and you're like, no, 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 just send we, it. We've been on this trail for 30 seconds and we can't actually get through. Because it's a Hilux. Go go that way. Do you know what you need? You need a and run send up. it. Yeah. Stop me out. What are you put doing? Your on. No, don't do it. Whoa, oh, shit. shit. Oh, shit. Dude, you're stuck. Get out of it. What are you doing? Go backwards. No, you go. What are you doing? You're under. <laughs> we're stuck. No, man. no, we're not. Let's go, Hilux. It's too deep. Let's go, Hilux. <laughs> we got this. that. Okay, just stop. <laughs> just, no, no, no. Just dude, stop. Just, just stop for a second. You stop for a no, second. Stop. No, no, stop. 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 I'll show you how to I'll do it. No no no. no, no, no. No, no. I'm no, not letting this hand break down <laughs> until you listen for one second. Okay. Just. I just want to tell you something about that bog hole. Okay. I've had a lot of experience in muddy bog holes. Okay. But I'm telling you, the bit at the end is too deep. I'm about to go around it. You're now. not going to go around. I it. am. I'm going to the left. You're not What's going around. No, no. Trust it, Martin. Martin. All right. I'm, you no. can walk. I'll show you. Watch this. I'm going around. Actually, mate, Whoa. I'm a little bit shocked. We're four wheel driving, we're mud bogging. This is what we do on the world's best four wheel driving channel, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. You made it! Yes! That's amazing! That's that's what we if do. If you here, hadn't Martin. checked the depth of that with your four wheel drive. Yes. I think you actually meant to check it with a stick. I checked it. Uh, how about this one? Why check it with a stick when you can check it with your gear stick? Let's get that on a t-shirt. Why yeah. check it with your finger when you can check it with... Uh. <laughs> Should we find 
Speaking of checking it with our cops, should we go and find the next muddy bog hole for you to irresponsibly drive through? <laughs> yeah, I know, I heard. Let's go. I heard you. Come on, let's go. Oh, Look, dude. This is the last person's bash plate that tried to go through that shit. We're going to take it and recycle it. Oh, man. Oh, no! What is it? What happened? No, look what at my it? seat! Dude, it's that would have been me! Here you go. <laughs> Just put this chip packet on there. There oh, you go. No. Just sit on the chip packet. That's chat. Let's go, mate. We've got boggy yeah, holes on, to get on, through. Oh, that is so chat. Oh. Are you ready? Oh. Oh. Oh, now, it stinks! I can take it out of this high <laughs> no, range now, right? You were in low four before. That's you. What am I in what, now? Why don't you go to high four? Let's be responsible. Where's high four? High four's that way. Uh, hang on. No, that... Yeah, no, that's in. Wait, no, that's... Is it? What's your stash say? Oh, yes, yeah, it's full, right. Great. All right, here we go, mate. Oh, it stinks. On the road again. Oh, what was that? Just can't wait to get back on the road again for some mud hole bogging and a little bit of dogging. <laughs> and uh, again. This is great, dude. We're out having an adventure. That's a big one. Okay, slow down. No, no. Just, so I can tell no, you, we will not get. We will not get through this. This is. Oh yuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh yuck! It's all over me. <laughs> oh, oh, it's in my butt. It's, it's in my butt. Oh. It, it, it is. All the juice has just oh. went. It went down the seat and into my butt crack, and now it's in my butt. Dude, some people do this for fun. I mean, we're doing we're it for doing fun. fun. No, I know, but I mean, some people actually do this properly. Oh, yuck. Oh, you got a lot of juice on Dude, you, man. I, got I was trying to put my window up, but you went too quick. <laughs> oh, um, question. If you're into full driving and you're like hanging with your missus and you're doing and having a night, and then you cover her in this, like, she, is she going to be enjoying it? Like, the car, the, did the car so. is full of stinky, stinks, muddy bog water. It smells so bad. Another bog hole, mate. Let's go. Oh, you're doing this one sensibly. Oh, she's still oh, got a bit of depth deep. to it. It's got a bit of depth to it. Not as nasty as the first one, though. No, nah, we're just used to it now, mate. Experienced bog hole travellers. <laughs> yeah, man, this is this this track's starting to get a little bit more uh, a little bit more technical, challenging. But we're experienced, mate, so we're good. Bit of elevation, some big big holes to go through. I feel like we're back in the good old days when we had the Jimny and the K truck and we did those big. Uh, Key to the mountain and key to the sea. They were great, those trips, yeah, man. Yeah, man, that was fun. Very capable little machines. And this is like the other way of doing it, isn't it? You yeah. Got your, you can take to work all week, and then you can come and do bog holes on the weekend. That's right. Yeah, loves it. You notice the car's making weird noises? Really weird Screeching noises. Screeching and Yeah, stuff. probably because you bogged it in a mud hole a couple of times. You reckon? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, the car would be dead. If we hadn't put the schnork, the car would be dead, because that water came up the windscreen. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So... Yeah. You saved it with your schnork. That's a big one. That's a really big so one. So that one there, I reckon we should be semi-professional, Martin, and actually check the depth of it, because that's... Yeah. That's, let's walk that one. All right, now, as the hosts of the world's best four-wheel driving channel, of course, you're here for some hints and tips and tricks. When you're playing in the, uh, the muddy bog hole, you need to know how deep you can go. Back in the day, Martin, people would um, tie a tea towel around the bottom of it. So, you know, you need a big stick, dude. Oh, there's a good bog oh, hole stick. Look at that one. So, Spider basically, wings. you want to walk this out. Oh, yeah, look at this. Put your stick in it. And uh, that one's already been bog holed by the looks of things. And just make sure it's not too deep. And so, Marty can go along and just be checking the bog hole. And then, once he gives me the all clear, I can just gently and calmly make my way through in a professional manner. Dude, what are you doing? I thought you just checked it. I haven't finished. The deep bit's over there. Shit. Oh. It's, um, it's been checked. If anyone's coming through here, you don't need this shit. You just need that idiot. I already told you, mate. Why would you check it with a stick when you can check it with your gear stick? We all know what you're checking it with, and it's not your gear stick. What? One of the good things about being in the great outdoors, of course, is being able to do a little bit of um, 
Oh, a little bit of cooking out in the bush. Oh, you and there's hungry, nothing mate. better than a bit of cam cooking. I'm always hungry. I reckon I got the best fed worm in Sydney. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just hungry all the time. Uh, so we're going up here. We've actually got a special guest who's oh, coming to meet us today. Oh, what's that rock? Uh, and uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of cooking. A little bit of delicious food consuming. What's that rock? Oh, that's oh, going to take you somewhere. We're going to go that sure. way. Oh, there we go. Oh, and uh, straight up here, mate, we're going to get some food going. Awesome. And then continue down the trail. Look at this, dude. Oh, this is awesome. See, this is what this is all about. We can't go that way. Where do we go? Oh, we go that way. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, this is good on the old back, isn't it? This nice, uh, supple suspension. <laughs> oh, Jesus. How good is this, Look mate? This. What a view. Lunch with a view. And everybody, very, very happy to have Nat from Nat's What I Reckon with his brand new patrol. Okay, How mate, you doing, bro? G'day, mate. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to man. <laughs> How are you, man? What oh, a view. G'day, champions. How are you? Good, mate. What are we cooking today? Just something quick. Just, um, you know, stuff you'll have on you. In here, I've got a bit of kingfish. Yeah. Uh, this is sashimi grade kingfish. Oh, it's just pretty easy to catch at the uh, fish markets. Nice. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to slice up some kingfish. We're going to make a kind of a crudo carpaccio kind of thing. It's just yeah. normal kind of full drive food, you know. Dude, uh, tell us about your patrol. How long have you had this? So it's a Land Cruiser. I've had this for yeah, a couple same of... Thing. They're different? I thought it was a patrol then. Isn't a Land Cruiser a version of a patrol? No, a Toyota Land Cruiser, this is a Nissan patrol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare a bit of a, uh, the, the crudo. It's yep. like a crudo, it's a carpaccio, it's a whatever, whatever. Right, so what I'm going to do... Can you explain to me just in Australian, what's a carpaccio? We are, that's what I was looking at you for, a cru, did you say a I'm probably crudo, crudo carpaccio? Yeah, it's a kind of, it's similar to a ceviche, so, so like... So it's like a sausage? Uh, it, it means you cook fish, but with citrus, so it's cooked not with heat. So don't it, yeah. You don't need to cook it. Cook anything. without fire. Yes. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking it, you're not a big seafood person. No. No, right, well you're gonna love this. Good. Will you eat some when it's done? If you cook it, I'll do it. We are cooking it with a lime. All right, fine, well let's, let's get to that and then talk about it. Don't pull me out for hygiene shit in the bush, no one cares. You gotta shit yourself, no one can see you out here, so. All right, so on this plate, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of, a little bit of sesame oil. Just like that. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna arrange my fish. Here, very nice. Look at this. Don't be fucking flash. I'll tell you what's not flash, that there. <laughs> the thing I like about this, right, is that it's stuff that you're gonna have on you. You know, when you're out here and you've been four wheel driving through bogs all day, you don't wanna be mucking around with fancy shit. So that's why I brought this along. Uh, right, don't worry about the flies, it's all part of life. Right, so. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking raw fish, get but here. Here's a, here's a bit of cheeky bush science for you. Right, so if you squeeze, if you squeeze the lemon to lime that, if you squeeze the lime over the kingfish there, you watch, you've Bloody watch that shit. In a couple of minutes, that'll be cooked. So I'm gonna get the death machine out. And I call it the death machine, because this thing will kill you if you're not careful. This is a French shallot. This is how I death machine at home. Hmm. Death machine it like this. Okay. You know what I'm... Oh, that's... Oh, no, now the <laughs> thing's blunt. Legitimately... <laughs> <laughs> How's you yours were, at mate? home? It just looks like that. Oh, I, threw, I threw mine out <laughs> after doing that with it. <laughs> Lime zest is very nice. Got a couple of capers, a bit of smoked salt. Don't mind if a bloody bush do. Red sorrel. All right, so these are, these are micro herbs. Some people say there's no point in putting these on there. Those people can get, those people aren't roughing it in the bush right now. Making crudo, all right? See in the comments section, they're pest. So Nat, with edible flowers, you were saying these need to be sonically brewed. So like when you get a cocktail and they, I've seen them, they do this, right? They yeah, get the yeah. herb. Have you seen And they do, yeah, they give do it this? A bit of... You give it a little oh, slap that. to bruise I'm, it? I've seen the clap. To get the scent out? Yeah, but how okay. do you sonically bruise something? Do you have anything that makes sonic noise? I do. You do? Yeah. So there you go with these. I think 
think they're cooked, man. Okay. Very nice, mate. Yeah, you know, this wouldn't be a bush cooking adventure without a bit of salad. I know people will get very cross in the four-wheel driving community. You just you just try it on. Try and turn up without a salad. Watch it go poorly for you. Right, so we're gonna make a salad easier than shit in the tent. Get some little tomatoes. We'll just cut them in half. Like that. Here's a hot salad tip. Here's ripe tomatoes. That's it. You can probably guess why. Because things that aren't ripe taste shit. Bit of these ones. Oh, can't wait for a salad. They'll be saying around the camp stove. Oh, thanging for a salad. Yeah, well, lucky on me, right? Now, this stuff's great, really transportable, particularly good when it gets warm and unmanageable. This is burrata is a kind of cheese, it's a real pain in the ass to deal with, which is just what you need when you're full driving. We put that in there like that. Just put that in the centre. Oh, very nice. A couple of basil leaves. Turned into a bit of a bloody dog's breakfast over here. That's all right. Because you can just go get a dog up ya. Something you're guaranteed to find in your camp fridge, which I don't have, uh, is a bit of truffle oil. We're going to put a little Drizzle the truffle oil on there. It's good. You can find this at any servo. A little bit of balsamic, just a little drizzle. Don't come at me, bro, with your didn't make me a salad. Righto, well, that's all done. Let's get the bloody boys in here. Oh, mate, look at that. Come and have a crack, would you? Oh, what have you done, mate? Have a go, would you? How good is that? One fork between the three of us. Sure. It's time to try. I'll feed Marty a little piece. See how it's cooked now, Marty? All right, here we go. I want to make sure I get plenty of micro herbs and mm. flowers. No, oh. the flowers make it. Mate, how good is this? Good on ya. You've done great, mate. Good on That's ya. the first time Marty's eaten sashimi in Fresh his life. Tomatoes. Mate, yeah. well done. Get good job, of, mate. Get a bit of that oh. gear in there with it. Oh, so we get a bit of the burrata on. like it'll this. It'll just, it'll just fall apart and, and it melt. Just, oh. This is camp cooking, mate. Mm. This is awesome. Easy. You've all this shit. You'll mm. have it in your car. I want to say massive thanks to Nat from That's What I Reckon. He's got a couple of books out. Check those out. Uh, shows coming up as well. There's a link down below. Check out everything you need. Thank you so much for coming out, mate. Thanks for You've having set us. the bar high because I'm going to be doing a little bit of uh, food prep later on as well. I'm doing the afternoon tea. Mm -hmm. And um, not quite kingfish uh, crudo mm. and burrata salad with smoked salt and truffle. Look at the mm. truffle oil on that one. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, and look at that sonically massaged flower, flower there. Oh. How good is this? What's probably not as appetizing as it seems is eating your lunch next to that. That was awesome, mate. Oh. And well done eating some fish. Oh, she sounds I... a bit uh a bit sick from all your mud bogging, mate. We might not make it much further than this. <laughs> I've never heard a car make that noise before. Have you? Watch your sump killer. Yeah, that's um, not ideal. It's not sounding good. Oh, it's so much bigger, bigger than a little chimney. Yeah. So it kind of feels like there's a lot more effort to get to the same place. Oh. It really depends which way you approach this as well. Like, is it a ute that does this or is it a four wheel drive that's also Yeah. Because, you know, it's always the, the, the argument with these things. It's go. actually amazing using a car to do a thing that a normal car can't do, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. just getting to go to places that normally you wouldn't be able to get to. I think that's what four-wheel driving is really all about. Like, yep. it's the adventure, it's being outside, it's being with your mates. Access. And sounds like for us it's going to be fixing, <laughs> fixing and, it as and well. fixing cars. I mean, we spoke about that before, remember? You get stuck somewhere, you hang there for a few hours, then you break your car, then you fix it, and then you keep going with a bit of camping in between. Yeah, that's right. There's nothing wrong with that. No. Now, this is as far as we've ever got down this trail. Yeah, because it um, gets more gnarly, doesn't it? Apparently it gets fairly crazy. We know Isaac, who's helped us in the past, has got stuck a few times. Um, but um, so far, there is nothing that's uh, getting in the way of this Hilux, mate. Pretty reasonable. Oh. This is a lot of car for the money, isn't it? It is. Like, it is, yeah, it really is, is a lot. And I think we're at a kind of a particular point in time now where it's you're able to get a lot of car for a whole lot of not much money. I mean, the, 
the COVID tax is done. Yep. And uh, we're just getting back to good value cars now. Yep. And the adventure it unlocks. Oh, oh, sorry, oh. mate. Oh, it's a bit wild oh, down here. It isn't it? Is, isn't it? A little bit it doesn't really look it, but it is. And that, I think, what you're about to go down, that's proper, dude. Um, no, you're not fitting through there. Do you reckon you're fitting through there? There's like a chunk of tree missing. You going that way? Oh, I don't know. We've got the ground clearance for uh, this. I don't think we'd get back up, actually. Not without a. Winch. Should we walk it? I think I think you meant to walk it. Let's just go and have a quick look in front. What? Oh, I nearly fell out into a massive, massive hole. So, yeah. See that rock there? I mean, there's a lot of broken glass here. So Mirrors. someone else has had not a very good day. Yep. Oh, you know, it's one of those things where from here it doesn't look quite as wild, but if the if it gets away from you, you're still having a bad time. We're not getting up or down that though. Look at that. No, no way. I've been mud bogging all morning, so uh, it's Marty's turn to have a thrash of the Hilux. Uh, we found this spot here that looks like it's going to be a little bit of a like a a little bit of a tricky situation. So I'm going to try and guide him down here, and uh, we'll see how we go. Are you ready, Martin? Nope. There's a lot of broken glass, a lot of rocks that have been thrashed, and trees that That's have been thrashed. Suck. So um, I reckon we might get a little damage actually. All right, just taking it really slow. Yep. Straighten it up, straighten it up. Yep. Keep it straight, keep it straight. Little up, right hand down, up. We're about to hit the tree, so yep, right hand down. And now left hand down. Whoa. <laughs> and now right hand down. Back's about to go in. Hey. Well, that wasn't quite as bad. Yeah, you're down, dude. Well done. Looked. Nice. One. Uh, stop there. Stop. There's a big hump, a big uh, tree stump under you. Just reverse back a bit. Yep. Go around that stump. Yep. Keep going. Keep going, dude. You're down. Nice. Thank you, mate. What about this big hole here? I uh, just drive off it. You reckon? Just send it. Yeah, that's it. Just drive off it. It's difficult. I think we've hurt the Hilux actually. It's making some pretty bad squeaky noises. We just want it to get us out. You drove a car down a hill. <laughs> well done, oh man. Oh my god, achievement unlocked. Uh, that was great. What's well next? Done. Let's go. Oh, we Jump just in. keep going, man. Let's go. Good job, Martin. That Thank was you, good mate. driving of a car down a hill. Thanks. Did it feel sketchy? Yeah. It looked very like, like when you were coming down. Oh, oh, that's deeper. Deeper, deeper yeah. than it looks. Deeper than it, deeper than it seems. We've got to get back up that hill to get out, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we do. Oh, what's Feels this? good after a tune. Hang to the right. Yeah, just head straight up there. Yeah, we got this. Oh, it's going to be tippy. I can tell it's going to be tippy already. I don't like when it feels tippy. No, I don't like it either. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. There it goes. Have we got to get up that? Yeah. Is there a way up that? No. What about up? No. Have we run out of ability, Martin? Yep. Have we run out of driver? Yeah, because it's going to Or can we just tip. go straight? I, don't, I think if we go straight, we're going to wreck our sump. Driving up a hill low range, going to hug the edge, hope it doesn't tip us over. The low range is really useful, oh, isn't it? Oh, can't slow down, though. Get any momentum, keep it. Oh, yeah, dude, you nice. drove up a hill. I drove up a hill. Yeah, dude. Fantastic. This is great. This is awesome. Can I just do this so we can see? Yep. There we go. Dude, we're going to get up this as well. Yeah, we are. We, dude, I told you we were the best four-wheel driving channel in the world. And look at us. So professional. Dude, I'm getting full second here. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, right, no, left. no, no, this. left, left, left. Yep, yep. It's all about not... Yep, the, the right's going to sink in, so we're about to fall down to the right. right there it is. We're going to rip our sump off. That's kind of what I'm aiming for here. What, aiming to rip our sump no, off? No, as in to not rip our sump oh, off. Oh, right. Okay, but I don't good, care good. about the Juco. Oh, yeah, this is... Dude, the Hilux has got this. The Hilux is great. Doesn't it? Like, it's this This is okay. Oh, Just send it up this hill, dude. No, no, just just send it. Whoa, yep, that's it. Whoa. Yep, there we go. Whoa. Full Watch send. Watch your spine. Dude, this is great. This is sick. This is we four driving. We are four-wheel driving, this mate. This is four-wheel driving. This is it. This is what it's all about. 
I want to say there's more to it than just driving a vehicle through the bush, but man, there is, isn't there? Well, it's about the community, Martin. It's about the community, it's, it's about, about the vibe. Comradeship. The great outdoors. How good does this feel after a tune? It's oh, actually yeah. got some poke now. Game it feels changer. great. Total game changer. Well, if that's the track, then that's the track, but I heard a rumour there's some more gnarly stuff up ahead. But yeah. there's no more big mud bogs, except these four. Oh, here's a mud bog. There you go, mud bogging. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be deep. Oh, that one's deep. That's deep. Oh, oh. that was deep. Oh. oh, it got me. Yeah, yeah. No, no, just... What run. do you mean? We, we will get through it. Just keep, get some momentum. Don't slow down. We're not getting through this. Yes, we are. Absolutely, we're getting through it. Look at this dude. Oh, All shit. day. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, the best four-wheel driving channel in the world is Martin and me. Yeah. I just drove through a mug bog. Yeah, yeah. You drove up a hill, you drove down a hill, and you drove through some mud. How good is this? Is it? This is it, isn't How it? How good is this? Is this it? Can you smell it? Yeah. How bad is that? It smells like Sippy's How bad hole. is that? <laughs> <laughs> just because you're mud bogging in a four-wheel drive doesn't mean that you have to eat slop. You can still hit the dirt, plus be eating some mad That's food true. and drinks while you're out and about exploring this great country. Keep the dirt on the outside of your body. That's right. Now, some people like to take beer when they're out four-wheel driving, and that's fine, but there's other options, people. Well, I mean, if you think about the fact beer was kind of like, oh, look, we can drink that water without dying because it's fermented and now it's safe to drink. Like, yeah. times have changed. But it's not, a it's, look, it's not a great drink for taking when you're camping and four-wheel driving. driving. You can't yeah. drink and drive. Uh, you get the chance of having a hangover. Uh, most craft beers taste like ass. Um, in fact, most commercial beers do as well. But today, I'm making a mad vegan avocado that, smoothie. That yes, I am. That everyone off in once, <laughs> including... Inc oh, God. Anyway, yeah, good. What are you making us? Anyway, I'm, I'm making us a mad avocado protein smoothie. I'm doing it by keeping my ingredients cold in the Ryobi fridge, which is here. All my different ingredients in there, which is excellent. Plus, I'm going to be running my blender with the new Ryobi Power Hub. This is an, like a power inverter, like a generator, but it runs on these massive 6 amp hour, 36 volt batteries. We've got four on them on there. That's like normally something you could run your mower on well, or lots something. Of, lots of people use these things on building sites too to run like power tools or specific power things, like a generator. Yeah, and you literally just plug your thing in there because, you know, petrol is dead, people. It's, you know, electricity is taking over out, everything. Mate. So this here is really simple. 30 seconds, here's what we're going to do. So first thing, Martin, you can help me. You. Dump half that ice in there. We are going with one banana. Dump half of that in there. Yeah, a little bit more, that'll do it. One banana, boom, there it is. We are then putting in some frozen blueberries that have been kept cold in my Ryobi fridge. Boom, done. Next up, we're doing a 50-50 mix of Whoa. coconut water and soy milk. So I'm going to call that two little drizzles of that. That's a lot of and vegetables And then we do there, two mate. little kind of drizzles of this. Did you say this is vegan? There we go. Yeah, it's absolutely vegan. vegan Everything friendly. we're about to have, but it's going to be delicious. Right. As such, we're adding a little bit of protein to it. This is pea protein. So plant not, protein. Not, not milk whey or, isolate. Or it's like pork it's, or whatever. I don't know how they make it from peas, but it's made with peas. So sure. that like there peas. goes in. There it is. And then the last thing, Martin, just to give it some creaminess, this is actually very popular in Mexico, not as much in Australia. A little bit of avocado. Oh, Over still... there you have avocado ice cream, you've got avocado desserts. Still vegan. That is, oh, well, it's a, there's a bit of contention about whether avocados are vegan or not because bees are somehow involved in their propagation. So I think hardcore vegans... Yeah, I don't think avocados are vegan anymore, but it depends which, which vegan you're listening because to. Because an animal pollinated, um, all right. Or, or something. Um, anyway, I'm so we've got that. It. Checking that. You just want to make sure that your liquid levels are above your dry levels. So about like that. Nice and juicy. We're going to put that on, Martin. We're going to whiz that up. And then using our Mad Ryobi power on. station, we're going to put that on there. I think it's ready to there, go, mate. Load and then little. just hit the ultra blend. Here we go. All right, Martin, now... Total load level, 35%. Be completely honest and tell me if this is not the best smoothie you've ever had. You can be totally honest. Well, it's also going to be thick, best smoothie icy, I've ever cold had. and delicious. It's literally in the bush in the middle of nowhere. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Oh, it's icy. icy Dude, it's like delicious. an ice cream. It's like, it's like an ice cream. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. We should just take this everywhere we go. This should just go in the boot of our car. Absolutely. And you could just make these every single day. 
Smells good. Do you get the avocado bit? Like a little bit of creaminess, yeah, but it's good, right? It's, it's not like too guacamole. -ish. You've got a good balance there of fruit to sort of sweeten it up so it doesn't just taste like, you know, drinking guacamole, which would be fat. Uh, Martin, I think this is the end of our journey right now because I just had a look down there. We're not going to get there. Uh, so um, <laughs> We're going that way. Although the stuff we had to get up to get in here, we've now got to do in reverse. Well, we now, yeah, so we I, now drive, I reckon you should drive out and sample it and I'll get out of the car and help you down. Yeah. Not because I'm scared that the car's going to tip over or it's going to fall off a cliff. I'm just trying to help. Well, everybody, we hope you've enjoyed coming on this little Hilux adventure with us. We just wanted to do a little shakedown just to see how the car goes and uh, we're really, really happy with how everything's gone. And uh, we've got a bigger adventure coming up soon. Oh, and um, big hill. so thank you for coming with us. And uh, oh, sorry, I'm just squeezing my butt cheeks so tightly right now. Uh, and uh, we're really, really happy with how this car went. It was yeah. the cheapest Hilux in Australia, 14 grand. We put a lot of time and effort into it now, probably more time and effort than maybe it deserved, but it's just such a yeah, capable car, isn't we, it? More than we thought we would, but it's like, it's just delivering, isn't it? The high Ks don't really matter. We've fixed a bunch of stuff. We've only got a couple of warning lights there that you need to worry about. Like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure the alternator's about to die. Um, but aside from that, it's been running well. It's got good tyres on it, it, makes good power now, it's got a decent exhaust, it's got the snorkel, we've been able to go through mud bogs without stress. Yeah, like, and like this, this is one. mud bogs all over the place. Um, so yeah, of course, <laughs> thank you very much for tuning in to the world's best four-wheel driving is. channel. We'll be back with more four-wheel driving action soon. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I think we're going to uh, get back to the other thing we do, Martin, which is nuggets. not four-wheel driving, which is nuggets. Nuggets. Uh, and, um, uh, so yeah, we'll see you soon on Mighty Car Mods, the home of all of the best automotive content anyone could ever need Ooh. and more. Oh. Oh. oh gosh. That was big. All right. See you later, everybody. Oh. Bye. I'm, I'm going to try and get us up this hill, actually. I'm going to... Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> Dude, we... Are we stuck? I think something just broke. I, I can't even I get I just out. heard something snap. I'm at too much angle. <laughs> are we... Are we... We don't have all four no, wheels we on don't. the ground. Look, look. Um, I think we just snapped something. I'm, I'm going to get out and have a look. Because it's probably safer out there than it is in oh, here. Oh, dude, we're leaking. Oh, no, really? Yeah. Wait, I'll I'll turn it off. Hold on. Oh, shit, we are leaking.